Assalamualaikum. Uh, welcome to Bohimun Government High School. I'm Shohidul Islam, Assistant Teacher in English and your students. Uh, today uh, I am with you with a class, uh, of course, an English class and for H, class H. Okay, uh, after a long time we have met and uh, today uh, the class is very important uh, because uh, you know uh, you have got your texts but you um, didn't have any classes for this year so I am here with the class uh, and I think it's a very important class for you uh, especially for the students of class 8 um, the subject is English and of course um, for today's class topic what would be the class topic you know uh, topic right topic. Uh, before going to the texts or any uh, items, I would uh, like to show you uh, the syllabus. First, what is your syllabus for class 8 and uh, the DHC, okay, uh, Junior School Certificate. So, let's have a look on the syllabus first, okay. Uh, you know, uh, in your class, for class 8, um, 100 marks uh, is in English. And uh, you have no English second paper or English uh, first paper. Uh, there is a paper uh, and it's called English. Okay. And uh, 100 marks in your syllabus. Uh, there is uh, 100 marks. And of course, um, uh, there are some items in your syllabus. What are these items? Um, of course, you're um, learning or reading in your uh, home. Uh, but if you have a idea on your syllabus I think it will be very um, uh, you will be very benefit benefited for it uh, for this uh, because whenever you are studying uh, something on your uh, from your texts uh, of course I think uh, you think that uh, what would be our question pattern and what is uh, the marks distribution uh, this is the problem uh, you are facing now so I'm uh, trying to uh, solve this problem today in your today's class. Okay, let's have the class. So the topic is uh, understanding. Okay, understanding syllabus. Understanding syllabus. Uh, our topic. Um, what are the items in our syllabus? Uh, we will uh, look on it today. Okay, firstly, you know that uh, I have told you that, uh, of course, first paper and second paper uh, is the own paper for your class. So, uh, here are something um, reading text. Uh, and you know, reading text, uh, it may be seen or it may be unseen. And some grammar items, uh, of course, will be included in your syllabus. And writing, some writing parts are also there. So, what are the items and what are the marks distributions? That's uh, our discussion matter for today. Okay, let's have a look on it. Uh, firstly, understanding syllabus. Okay, of course. Uh, firstly, uh, reading. Okay, reading. That means uh, from your first paper. From your first paper, the textbooks, of course, uh, reading part, okay, reading part, reading part, and the scene, I think, scene, scene part, what are the items from the scene part, yeah, and you know that scene part means uh, there will be a uh, passes and uh, Another the passes, um, some questions will arrive and you have to answer the questions. Okay, uh, firstly, in the reading part, we will um, marks, we will have some marks and marks is, I think, 20 marks, okay, 20 marks for the reading part and the, uh, the same part, from reading and the same part is 20 marks, 20 marks, what are the items, first one is, um, First one is, uh, you know that, uh, MCQ type questions, right? Multiple choice questions, okay? Multiple choice questions. Multiple choice questions, okay? Multiple choice 
those questions. That means M C Q, right? M C Q. Uh, I think it should be quite long. Okay. Multiple choice, multiple choice questions. And here will be a max. What will be the max? Uh, per one and the seven equal to seven max. Okay. Here will be the seven max. That means there will be seven multiple choice questions in your syllabus and in your questions paper so okay, seven questions and uh, one marks for each that means seven and two answering questions answering questions okay uh, except short questions and you have to give you have to get the answers of these questions okay short questions and these questions carries two, two marks and here are the four questions and you know um, eight marks okay here is eight marks short questions eight marks and from the same passes uh, there will be another question and it will be gap filling okay you are very acquainted for, with this item gap filling okay gap filling okay gap filling uh, of course it will be um, without clues okay uh, gap filling but it will be without without clues it's a uh, question and for each gap one mark is here and here will be the five gaps and the five marks okay five gaps and the five marks and the total is uh, you are uh, looking here total is seven multiple choice questions uh, for seven marks and seven questions for eight marks and gap filling uh, and of course it will be without gap filling and it carries it carries five marks and total here yeah, total is 20 marks okay total 20 marks okay total 20 marks this is the uh, these are the items for your scene passes uh, and the reading part okay reading part scene passes okay um, and the passes of course will be set from your text english first paper that means english for today uh, these are the 20 marks for your reading text and the part scene part okay uh, let's have another book of reading text unseen part okay unseen part reading text uh, it will be unseen okay reading part but unseen okay unseen unseen okay unseen part and the marks will be for the unseen part 25 okay 25 marks for unseen part so what are the items for the unseen part and uh, let's have a look on it okay um, uh, that means uh, we should uh, use the numbers right we should use the numbers uh, four i think it should be it will be the four right it will be the four okay information information transfer transfer okay information transfer is an item uh, for an unseen passes, okay. For an unseen passes, I think it will be a, a real passes, and you have to answer the questions of the passes. What are the questions present? That means information transfer. And you know, uh, in your class six and seven, you have got um, you have uh, you have acquainted this um, uh, very item, um, information transfer, and you know uh, it will be a table or with some columns. And there will be some, uh, will be missing some information, and you have um, you have given the information properly. That will be uh, the, that will be uh, information transfer. Okay, information transfer. What are the marks of these items? What are the marks of these items? Of course, for each missing item, uh, carries carries one mark, and uh, here will be the five. Okay, five uh, missing gaps or five missing uh, missing information and you have to transfer the information okay here is the file okay uh, these very unseen passes will carry another questions 
another question and that is uh, true or false true or false true or false and this item also um, carries what five marks okay five marks okay these are the five and five ten marks is for the unseen passes okay unseen passes and of course in reading part unseen some other items will appear okay these are the four these two items will be appear from an unseen passes okay passes these are the four passes okay passes and and out of the passes what are the items number six uh, is okay you know close test close test that means uh, here will be the close test uh, item two uh, number one is close test with okay with close with close okay with close c l u s e with close and it will carries okay it will carries uh, ten gaps and each gaps carries two each gap carries half marks that means five okay uh, there will be the ten gaps in this very uh, short process there will be the ten gaps and each gap point each gap carries point five marks and it will be the five total five and uh, number seven is okay close test close test uh, it will be without right without close without close it will be the without close okay close sorry without close c l u e s close without close okay and here are five marks also and it will be the gap here the gap is five item is five and five marks these are the uh, these are the 10 marks for the gap filling and the last item for is uh, part is um, matching table right matching table okay matching table table matching here will be the five questions five uh, we have to make five sentences and there will be five marks okay uh, these are the five items for the unseen part okay unseen part and um, the reading part and unseen part okay we we'll have uh, seen uh, reading parts in but uh, there were there uh, was 20 marks questions and here the 25 marks questions and that these two items is for a passes and three passes in function just for five marks and three course is five marks and the sum of the items will be appear in reading period also and uh, close test we close five marks with 10 gaps okay and the close test with a close five marks five gaps and the matching tables that means you have to make sentences meaningful five sentences it will carry um, five marks these are the reading part and uh, you know uh, here are 25 marks okay you have got 25 marks for these items uh, these are the reading part for your in your syllabus okay uh, let's have a look on the grammar part okay grammar part what are the items in your grammar part okay let's have a look grammar grammar okay grammar and uh, grammar carries 25 marks grammar carries 25 marks and uh, uh, here will be five uh, five grammar items of course five grammar items okay uh, we have used the number eight uh, it will be i think number nine okay number nine what are the items uh, from your grammar part and uh, you know uh, 25 marks carries these items okay uh, let's have a look on it okay number nine i think it would be uh, suffixes Okay, it would be the suffixes and prefixes. It will suffixes and prefixes. Okay. Suffix
suffixes and prefixes. What are the items? Suffixes and prefixes. And here will be the gap, this 10, 5 into 10 gap, and each gap carries 0.5 marks. Okay, that means half marks. Okay, it will be the 5. Okay, 5 marks. 5 marks. Okay, it will carry. Okay, five marks, right? Suffix and then prefixes. What are the other items? Okay, number 10. What are the items? That number 10 is articles. And you are very acquainted of this item. Articles. Articles. Okay. Um, I think here also should have um, five marks and same the category of mark. Five marks. Same the category of marks. Okay. Uh, that means 10 gaps and is carries only 0.5 marks and that means uh, total is 5. Okay, let's have some, uh, and you are very acquainted of this, uh, with these grammar items and they have completed in class 6 and 7. Okay, number 11. Okay, number 11 is changing sentences. Okay, changing sentences. This is a very interesting uh, grammar item for your class and it carries, of uh, course, it carries uh, five marks and each grammar will carry one marks and it will be five sentences and you have to change those five sentences. What are the, what are the items are here? What are the items are here? Here, you have to learn about the sentences and its transformation Sentences that means uh, assertive, interrogative, imperative, objective, and explanatory. These types of sentences will be here, and you have to transfer according to the direction. Okay, here will be another item, uh, item and it, will, uh, it is a voice and voice tense. That means active voice to passive voice or passive voice to active voice. These are the items you have to complete uh, with, uh, in this uh, grammar item. Okay, uh, 9, 10, and I think. You are very acquainted with these grammar items item also because in your class 6 and 7 uh, you have got it. Okay, number 11 and number 12. Okay, number 12. Number 12 grammar item is um, speech. That means uh, speech or oh, that means narration. Narration. Okay, narration tense. Okay. Um, Recognition to recognition, uh, you have to change this word, and uh, here will be the five marks also. Five marks, grammar, narration, sense. And the last is, and the last one is number uh, thirteen. Number thirteen. Capital. Capitalization. Capitalization and punctuation. Capitalization and punctuation. Okay, uh, you are very uh, acquainted of this with this person also. Uh, with this, uh, here, uh, the question pattern is uh, 5 into 10 and 5. Okay, 5 marks. Um, here, is a, here is a very important thing uh, that uh, here is 10 mistakes or 10 idols or 10 um, vacant of punctuations or uh, capitalizations but you have to uh, change or you have to put the right capitalizations and punctuation marks uh, on the very passes okay uh, but uh, in some other cases uh, we found that uh, the only 10 mistake isn't here uh, it may be several mistakes uh, maybe 14 13 or 9 these are the uh, fact uh, but we have to Read the passage very carefully, and uh, then we have to answer. Uh, and we have to correct the punctuation capitalizations, okay, capitalizations, and we have to use the right punctuation marks. Uh, how many numbers uh, it requires? We have to put the items. Uh, these are the five. These are the five from the grammar test, okay, and you know, five, 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 and five, twenty-five. Okay, grammar items uh, carry 25 marks. Okay, let's have the uh, last part of this sentence, the last part of this syllabus, and it will be, of course, writing part. Okay, what are the items? 
for your writing project. Let's have a look on it. Okay, writing. Writing. Okay, writing is uh, writing is uh, thirty marks. Okay, thirty marks. Writing is thirty marks. Okay, what are the writing? What are the writing? Um, we have used the number thirteen. Okay, it will be number fourteen. Number fourteen. Okay, dialogue. Okay, dialogue. First one is uh, dialogue. Uh, Any more? Um, what is dialogue? And it carries uh, ten marks. Okay. The second one, uh, fifteen. Number fifteen is an uh, email, right? Email. Email. And it also carries twenty ten marks. And the last one is. Last one is paragraph. Paragraph and it also carries 10 marks. These are the 30 marks on writing uh, in your syllabus. Okay, we have to follow these uh, items, and of course, uh, there are some formats. Uh, um, there is a format of uh, for dialogue writing, and you have to follow the format. And the email, uh, there is a certain format for uh, email, and you have to um, follow the email, and of course, paragraph. It also has a Format and have to follow it. Okay, these are the writing items. That means uh, these are the total hundred marks on your syllabus. Okay, let's have a summary on it. Okay, let's have a summary on it. Okay, reading, reading, reading part, reading part one. That means seeing. Okay, seeing. Uh, it carries, uh, you know, 20 marks, okay, 20 marks, okay, there for you, uh, reading part, reading part 2, uh, unseen, unseen, it is, these are the marks, that means grammar, after the grammar, Grammar, grammar part, grammar part, and it carries 25 marks. Okay. And the last one was writing, right? Writing. Writing. Okay, writing part. Writing part. And it carries 30 marks. Okay. Uh, here are total 20, 25, 25, and 30 is 100 marks. Okay. Hundred marks. Okay, hundred marks. These are the items. Um, these are the uh, parts uh, on in your syllabus, and um, you know that. Okay, understanding syllabus. Um, before going to uh, start your uh, preparation for uh, on your subjects, you have to follow these uh, twenty parts. Uh, reading parts is uh, seen. Part is from twenty marks. Reading part two, I'm seeing 25 marks. And what are the items I have already shown you? Okay, grammar part, uh, grammar part 25 marks, and the writing part is 30 marks. These are all the all in your syllabus, and you have, uh, I think, uh, you have got a uh, idea, proper idea, on your in your syllabus of of your syllabus, and you have to uh, follow uh, these very syllabus for the preparation uh, class for class 8 and for class uh, and for the examination of JHC uh, okay dear students um, that's for all